Okay, so today we'll be solving this uh, problem greetings from a steel sheet. So, yeah, you can read that. So, did you guys have any idea of how can you solve that? Yes. So, did you understand the question? Like, what is the question trying to say? Okay, so let me explain you the problem. So it is saying that there are n peoples and uh, the i person is at point A and he wants to go at point B. And it is for n peoples. And they all move with a uniform speed with, uh, with the speed of one unit uh, per second. Okay, so let me show it by diametrically. So let's say, uh, let's pick up uh, this example so minus 4 a person standing at minus 4 he wants to go at a 9 correct so if I draw it on a number line if it is as minus 4 he wants to go at 9 so, so minus 4 is going at 9 second is minus 2 is trying to go at 5 so minus 2 is here and 5 is here so a second person is trying to go from minus 2 to 5 Third person is trying to go from 3 to 4. So a 3 would be here and 4 would be here. So he is trying to go from 3 to 4. Now, fourth person is going from 6 to 7. Fourth person goes and first person is going from 8 to 9, right? He is going from 8 to 9. So now, uh, so you, what you need to do is that you need to uh, count all the handshakes which happened. So how a handshake is happened. So a handshake is happened, I guess it is written here. So yeah, um, when they meet at the same point, a handshake is happened. Okay. So like, or maybe greeting. So, so let's say for four, he is going to nine, right? So he will, what all handshakes will he do? He will do a, a handshake. Like, like he will do a handshake with this person minus two when he goes to minus seven. Right? In the like because minus two will one at because with both are moving at the same speed. So when minus two will reach here, he will stop. Now when minus four is uh, minus four is seven to nine, he will meet this person at five and uh, do a handshake. Similarly, when this three meets at four, he will do a handshake. Again, when he meets with the six uh, seven, the person which is standing at six and when he moved to seven, he uh, did a handshake with that. And uh, similarly, for the eighth person, when he uh, moved to the ninth value, he did a handshake. So for minus four, there were four uh, greetings, right? Okay, I think eight is going to ten, not nine. Uh, Yeah, so when 4 is going to 9, so for him, 3 handshakes with there. Now for 2, he will do a 1 handshake with 4th person. So 1 handshake. For 6, he will not do any handshake because none other than person is coming with him. So 0. And for 8, right? Like both are moving at uniform speed. So when 8 goes to 9, minus 4 has come to 2, minus 2. Now when 9 reaches 10, minus, uh, minus 4 would have come to minus 3, right? So it was not possible that eight um, handshakes with four. So it's zero. So in total, four handshakes with it. So you output four as answer. So you need to find out like how many handshakes and what, uh, uh, what is the answer. So did you guys get the question? Like what is the question trying to say? Yeah, got it. Hmm. So how can you do that in your idea approach? So basically, first idea is that for any value, okay, so if I am standing, if I'm assuming that I am this person, so which one persons can I do a handshake? I can do those person's handshake whose end point is lesser than my end point, right? 
So if my endpoint is this, my endpoint is nine. All those person who are having lesser endpoints than my like five and four, eight, right, seven, I can do a handshake. But the person who is having a endpoint which is greater than him, he will not be able to make a handshake. Why? Because both are moving at same speed, right? So if I'm standing at here and I'm standing at here, and I'm trying to say that okay, my endpoint is lesser than him. So if the starting point is greater than endpoint, no matter how, I am not able to shake. Second thing is that this uh, starting point is lesser than my endpoint. If its endpoint is less than mine, then I can do a handshake. But if his endpoint is it is, uh, if if his endpoint is greater than my endpoint, right? So no matter how, I have not be able to do a handshake. So this is the idea. So did you guys get this? What is the idea behind this? Yes, we are. Yeah. So, how can you do this? So, since I used uh, told you to like in a policy based data structure, maybe you can uh, use that data structure to uh, get the answers. So what you can do for each query, like for let like four, you you can tell which is the last point, which is the end point of him, and you can query all those elements which are till now, which are lesser than which are lesser than his end point, right? And when you move forward for uh, when you move forward, you just remove this endpoint from it. Like you, you are now not concerned with this. So let me show you by a uh, trial. So what you can do, uh, just let me draw it real fast. Minus four goes to nine. Yes. Minus two goes to five. Three goes to four. Six goes to seven, and eight goes to ten. Okay. So what can I do? Uh, I can. No. Okay. I know for for minus four, which all endpoints which are lesser than nine because my endpoint is nine. So answer is one, two, and three. So I will add answer three now. I will. I'm not concerned about this, right? Right, because now minus four. It might happen that uh, minus four endpoint is let's say somewhat here after this. But for minus two, I would not be concerned about minus four, right? So I have to remove this uh, nine part as well because it might hamper my answer. So I will remove uh, this from my set. Now for minus uh, two. Uh, which all endpoints are lesser than five? So answer is one. So I add a one here. Now I remove a five from here, right? For three, which all endpoints are lesser than him? No one. Okay. So I add a zero. And for similarly seven, I add a zero. Yep. And for nine, I add a zero. So in total, there are four. So uh, you can just do it in this way. So let me just show you my implementation. Uh, I think this is the another, yeah. So if you do this, uh, like the what first thing is that I map the endpoint of all the elements which are okay. So this is telling yeah, endpoint is endpoint of my starting index is this, okay. Now I maintained a PBDS. Now end is a PBDS. P end is a PBDS set. So in the end, what did I do? I maintained all the ending points, right? Just as I stated, I maintained all the four, seven, and 10. I maintained all the ending points. And for each uh, query in the starting point, I first checked what is my endpoint value from the map. Then I queried all the, uh, then I queried all the values which are less than my endpoint value, right? Correct. So uh, how did I do? I since I stored in the uh, map because I declared a map endpoint. So I uh, first find out found out that what is the uh, what all elements are less than my endpoint value. Okay, my endpoint value. Now I subtracted all those endpoints value which are like le lower than my starting point, right? So all the endpoints which are so basically, if I want to. Like this is the range, right? If I want to find out how many elements are present in this range, I can uh, find out what elements are less than himself minus 
my all those elements which are less than m so this will all cancel out so basically these all elements which are present in the range i would be able to find that so i calculated an a and then the result i added the b minus value and while mint for minting for i erase that endpoint value because it would hamper my further results so yep so this is how you could have done that so do you get this yes bhai okay okay great great so now let's move to the third question